Ash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. So last night, sometime after midnight, um, I scooped out the cat litter and what I do is I tie it up in a plastic bag and when it's really late, I just toss it out onto the back step and then the next day, which would be today, it goes out into the garbage. And uh, after seeing the dogs on the security footage this morning, I remembered that the cat poop was outside and I said, oh my gosh, I know those dogs probably uh, broke into it because dogs love eating cat poop and sure enough look Yep, they open the bag. There's cat poop all over So this morning I'm doing things a little bit differently with the cats. I just want to uh, Switch things up a little bit and I just came downstairs to uh, Give the cats some fresh water. Boo already has fresh water today And I want to give the cats fresh water and I see this so somehow this rug has gotten pushed over this way um, their platter, though, has gotten pushed over this way, so they were both kind of in the middle. The platter went that way, the rug went that way, and this is Stella's truck. So, uh, I don't know what's going on there either. I might have to attach the cab part to the wagon part and, um, see what happens with that. I'm gonna 
see if I could see anything on the security footage as to what was going on there and here. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm going to give them some fresh water, and I came down to get their bench and field treat, and I'm going to take them all upstairs, and I want to give them all treats together. And these are the uh, super nutritious treats that are full of vitamins and minerals, so I want to see what happens if I give these treats to them, kind of like a, uh, you know, a morning multivitamin, and um, just see how the behavior is. Okay, so they told me that they love the bunny plate. They love it. They feel like they're eating the bunny, and I know that's a horrible thing to say for people that, you know, love bunnies, and bunnies are nice animals, but the truth of the matter is that, you know, cats are carnivores, and they're a species that requires eating meat to survive, so they told me they love the bunny tray. One of the other reasons why I'm switching their morning schedule up is because I forgot to defrost the raw food. So I have it here on this small aluminum tray and there is, a, it's a very shallow tray and there is some warm water in there. So um, it's been in here about a half hour and things are still like really ice cold. So I'm gonna let it sit a little while longer. Okay, this place is a mess and um, I need to clean a bunch of this stuff up today and I also need to vacuum because there is just cat stuff everywhere. Right Simba? So Simba came up and Boo's here, and Stella's here. She's just about eight feet away. She's grooming herself. I think she might want to look good for Boo. She sees Boo, but she don't seem too mad. Today we're having the Bench and Field Holistic Natural Feline Treats with added vitamins and minerals. And uh, I really like these treats. Um, they have great ingredients, and uh, to me, they're kind of like giving the cats a multivitamin because they have so many vitamins and minerals and um, good ingredients. Okay, so Stella has joined us on the rug. The Splash is in the hallway. Actually, Splash just walked out of Boo's room. So maybe Splash will join us too. Come on, Splash. Come on, Splash. You gonna join us? Come on. Boo's like, Open it up already. Open it up already. Okay, I gave Boo a treat and he ate it right away. Then I threw one to Stella, but Simba ate it. So then I gave Stella another one. And then I threw one to Splash, but Boo ate it. So I threw another one to Splash. So right now, all of the cats have had one treat each, except for Boo. He's had two. Okay, so for round two, Stella had her treat first. And then I gave one to Boo. And then Simba had his, and then I threw that one to Splash, but he didn't go for it. So then I threw a second one to Splash, and look, he just went for the first one. Stella had her treat first. I moved Boo over here. He had his treat here. Simba moved here. He had a treat there. And Splash had a treat there. So far, so good between Stella and Boo. Let's see what happens in the next round of treats. So Stella walked closer, and I gave her a treat there, and I gave Boo a treat there, and they're like less than a foot away from each other and everything's okay. Stella, I was just telling everybody how good you were doing and then you do this. What is that about? It's okay, Simba. It's okay, Boo, you know how she is. Okay, for the next round, Boo got his first because Stella was nasty. Then Stella got her treat. Then Simba got his and then Splash got his on the rug. So Splash is on the rug. Stella got a treat. Simba got a treat. Boo got a treat. Splash got a treat. Okay, I just changed the order for this round. It was Simba, then Stella, then Boo, and then Splash. The reason why I have to do Splash last is because if I throw a treat to him first, Simba and Boo will go after it and Splash won't get it. But if I do him last, and if Simba and Boo are eating their treat, then they don't go after the treat that I throw to Splash. And there is a treat under that track. The first treat that I um, threw to him in this round went under the track, so I gave him another one. Well, oh, he's going to Boo's room. Simba got caught by Stella. He's trying to eat her treat. She grabbed him on the head. She said, don't you try to eat my treat. Look at this. 
there's a standoff over the treat. She does that. She puts him there as a trap. Hmm. Stella has her crunchy traps that, well, I should say today it's a treat trap. Stella has her treat trap all set. Oh, now she's going to eat it. She got mad that I told her not to hit Boo. I'm sitting here with Boo and Simba on the rug. And there's Stella. She's in Boo's room. So right now I'm just sitting here with Boo. I don't know what she's doing in there. But I think it's a good sign. Okay, we've just gone through half of a bottle, but, you know, that's for four cats, so. So I picked Boo up because I figured I would put him in my room, but then I said, let me just see what's going on in his room. And uh, I walked into the door and Stella was right here. That's the first time that Stella has been sitting here and looking out the window since Boo has been in the house. Think about that. That's been, that's a long time. So, um, I thought that was great news for Stella that she did that on her own. I mean, I've tried to carry her in the room in the past and she always ran out. So the fact that she came in by herself and then sat there and was like looking out the window was really cool. Um, so when I stood in the doorway with Boo, she saw that and then she decided, okay, well, she's just going to leave the room now. Splash was in the room at the same time and they both walked out and I just put Boo in here because I need to give him his breakfast. I need to give the other cats their breakfast and I need to get some stuff done today. So I'm um, going to have a few hours of time to do non-cat things and then this afternoon I am going to let all the cats mingle again. I'm walking out to my car to get something and here's Hydrox. Okay, he's meowing. He's probably hungry because the dogs ate his food. I don't know if he's been staying in this little cat shelter here, um, but it looks like he just walked through the bushes. There are some bushes and there's like an animal path through those bushes also. So, um, it looks like he came from the neighbor's yard. Here's Hydrox, he followed me into the backyard. I'm gonna go inside, put some food together for him. It is really cold today. The weather got really cold again. There's also a possibility of some snow today. Nothing major, just some minor flurries. I just came out with a can of the wet food. This is the Purina Beyond Grain Free Wild Salmon recipe. I also gave him like half a can of crunchies. So there's dry food under there. And I put some water in there and then he has fresh water there. So I don't know where he is. I don't know where he went. I went inside to get the food and now I don't see him. Okay, I just came back inside and hopefully he'll go eat some food because he was meowing at me. And the only time that he meows at me is when he is hungry. While we're talking about Hydrox right now, let's also talk about the lookalike. Um, the cat that I've been calling the imposter. I really like the name Xerox. I think it's a really cute name for the cat. And I... Uh, it's appropriate because he's like a copy of Hydrox. And I also think it's very clever because it has the same OX ending. So there's Hydrox and then there's Xerox. And uh, I used the name yesterday when I was talking to somebody about the cat. I also used it um, on the footage when Hydrox and the other cat were in the yard. And I was saying, oh, there's Hydrox and Xerox in the corner. I don't know which one's Hydrox. I don't know which one's Xerox. And as I used the name, I realized that even though it's cute and even though it's clever, it just does not resonate with me correctly. For some reason, it doesn't sound right when I say it. And I don't feel right when I say it. And uh, that's really important when it comes to naming animals and naming pets like how do you feel when you're using the name how does the name resonate and the name is not resonating for me and if it is resonating at all it's resonating in a negative manner i don't know why xerox hydrox i think it's too similar to hydrox i think by using it for the other cat and then hydrox does not feel special anymore with his special name because he really likes his name 
And I think it also would be confusing for the cats if I was outside and I was saying, hey, Hydrox, hey, Xerox. Like, for a cat, they might sound too similar. Um, so I, um, so I gave it some thought and then I was inspired to use the name Ditto because I think that's a really cute name for a cat and it has the same meaning as Xerox. So I've been testing that name out and playing with that name. And, um, so it would be like, oh, there's Ditto. Is it Hydrox or is it Ditto? Who is it? And, uh, I really like how that name resonates and I think it's different enough from Hydrox um, so it's not confusing for them. Like if I'm outside and if I'm saying, hey, ditto, Hydrox is going to know that I'm not talking to him. Whereas if I'm, if I'm outside saying, hey, Xerox, like Hydrox might think I'm talking to him too. That's where I'm at right now. Um, if I refer to a cat named Ditto, that's who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the lookalike. Right now it is 6, 12 PM and I just heard the automatic feeder go off like a minute ago. And I said, let me just go look out the window because most of the time I never hear it go off. And uh, when Stella and her kittens were living outside, every time the feeder went off, they would come running from all directions and eat their food. Like, it was the funniest thing. It was so cute. But Hydrox isn't like that. You know, the feeder goes off and it's like take it or leave it. And... Um, you know, these other random cats are not like that. So that's why I said, let me just look out of curiosity and see if anyone's eating. And sure enough, can you guys see that? Did you see it? Hydrox is eating. I know it's Hydrox because I recognize his legs. I have a pretty good idea of the difference between his legs and Ditto's legs. Well, it's good that he's eating. He's getting some food. Now, I did put out the, uh, the wet food for him. I don't know if he ate that. Maybe I'll check the security cameras and see what happened with that. I hope the birds didn't eat it. So Hydrox has had a lot of visitors in the backyard recently. But he's doing good. For everyone who's concerned about him, he's doing good. Hydrox is like made out of pioneer stock. You know, he enjoys, Hydrox enjoys surviving outside. Some people really like that. You know, that's why they have all those survival TV shows and stuff like that. I love watching those kind of TV shows and Hydrox enjoys living that kind of life. Right, Hydrox? I don't think you can hear me. I'm inside, the windows are shut. Right now it's about 7.07 .07 p.m. and the temperature sensor in Hydrox's shelter says it is 57.3 degrees in there. I was just outside and it is really cold out. The weather app says it's 43 degrees out and feels like 37, but I think it feels even colder than that. So I'm happy that Hydrox's shelter is much warmer. I just came outside to give Hydrox some food and there is dry food in the feeder bowl. And I am going to give him half of a can of wet food and give him some fresh water. Six p.m. and I'm sitting here with all the cats. So Boo's here, Sim is here, Stella's by the door, and Splash is in the hall. And I don't have any crunchies right now. I just want to relax, watch TV for a little while, and enjoy my evening. And um, yeah, right now the cats are all just hanging out. Right, Boo? We're just hanging out. And look at this. Stella just came over. Stella just came over while I was talking to you guys. Good girl, Stella. Yeah, we're just gonna watch TV. Simba wants crunchies, but right now we're just gonna watch TV. Maybe we'll have crunchies later, okay? Okay, Boo, we're just hanging out, okay? Boo, you have your dinner. You didn't even eat your dinner. You didn't even touch your dinner. Gotta eat your dinner, Boo. 
Okay, now Boo's walking around a little bit. He's like, where are the crunchies? What am I waiting for? It's 8.42. Boo settled down again. Simba's been relaxing. Stella's relaxing. And Splash is still in the hallway. It's 9.30 p.m. right now. Boo's sitting here grooming himself. He's been a very good boy tonight. He hasn't tried to uh, jump on any of the cats. Uh, so that's good. Splash is hanging out in the hallway by Boo's door. Splash keeps his distance from Boo. Simba's sleeping in one of the cat towers. And Stella's looking out the window in the other one. So I took out the cat charmer to play with Boo for a little bit. And Stella jumped down from the cat tower and I was playing with her. So we're going back and forth between Stella and Boo, except right now Boo's sitting on it. Look at Boo. He's sitting here with the cat charmer wrapped around him like a sweater. What you doing, Boo? You're so silly. And here's Stella with the other cat charmer. I'm playing with two cat charmers and two cats, one in each hand. Okay, so all four cats were playing really well on the rug. Boo, come here. And then Boo decided to jump at Splash. It looked like maybe he was going to play, but I don't know. Come here. Come here, Boo. You're doing good, Boo. You're doing good, Boo. It's okay. You're doing good, Boo. But, you know, Splash is super sensitive, so um, maybe that's what it is. But so far, Boo's been getting along with the other cats. There's Simba and there's Stella. And we're all just kind of sitting here playing with these wand toys. So Simba and Stella have been there. Boo's been here. And then Splash was in the hallway. Right now, he's poking his head around the corner. Do you see him? Yeah. So, um, we'll see what happens. But it is, right now it's 9.45 and... I want to start relaxing and getting ready for bed. So Pooh's going to go in his room soon because the other cats have free roam. But it's almost two hours that we've all just been hanging out here, which has been good. Boo and Splash have been poking each other through the gate. I just put Boo in his room. So I guess maybe they're figuring out their relationship a little bit like Simba and Boo do. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos. And please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.